The Siege of Vicksburg, a turning point in the American Civil War. By Matthew Hill. In 1861, there were three brothers who had just purchased a farm in southern Minnesota. Because of the onset of the war, the two other brothers enlisted in the 1st Minnesota Battery of Light Artillery. Although neither expected a long tour of duty, William and Thomas Christie served in the 1st Minnesota Battery through June 1865. Where they would end up was anyone's guess. It was a hot Mississippi summer. Ulysses S. Grant was already on his way to destroying another Confederate army, the Army of Vicksburg. In what has been termed one of the most brilliant military maneuvers in American history, General Grant found himself facing the fortified river city of Vicksburg on May 18, 1863. Over the course of the next six weeks, the Army of Tennessee, under Grant's command, bombarded the Confederate fortifications until General John Pemberton and his starving Confederate army surrendered. What has been termed the defining moment of the American Civil War, the Siege of Vicksburg was both a triumph and tragedy. As heard through letters written by both William and Thomas, who experienced the siege in the summer of 1863, it is clear to see that for the North, this was a decisive triumph, while for the Confederacy, a devastating defeat. Early on in the siege, William writes to his brother on June 8, 1863. People are slain. Sons and brothers, fathers and children are mangled on the same field of death. Let everyone be thankful you are not in a besieged city night and day. With no new supplies or reinforcements, General Pemberton faces intense bombardment that only gets worse as his situation in the fortifications becomes hopeless. Weeks later, the siege was near a breaking point, as recorded by Thomas, who writes on July 2nd, 1863. Yesterday at noon, the big fort in front of Logan was blown up for the second time and must have done considerable damage. By the next day, the Confederates, surrounded, decimated by the attacks, disease-ridden, and nearing starvation, surrendered. For them, the war was over, as General Grant gave amnesty to the soldiers in the hopes that their decrepit state would serve as further discouragement to the failing Confederacy. And most importantly, with the win, the Union successfully had split the Confederacy into half, with the rebels no longer able to control the Mississippi. After the siege of Vicksburg, the Union would go on to win at Gettysburg, and Sherman would make his infamous march to the sea, spelling the end of the Confederate military and thus the Civil War.